hello guys welcome back to my channel okay so today i want to show you how we process our catfish to our fresh catfish to the dried catfish i i made a video of um just 20 kg that um, we process for a customer so the first thing you do though these ones these fishes are up to like one kg so we use the smaller fishes of like 500 gram 600 gram so what you do is to harvest it meaning you use your nets to catch them first then you scale them to get the particular um weights that you needed this customer wanted um 40 kg worth of dried fish so this is what i did and um after doing this after um, weighing the quantity that you need the next thing you do is to put it in a bag if you have the um vita catfish bag you know that feed or if you have any bag you can use the blue cram bag you know what i'm talking about if you're a fish farmer you pour it inside the bag and um, you put salt inside now the reason why i did this is because the farm is far from my house and i needed to transport it down to my house so i have to put it in a bag so it can fit into my boots i can put it in my boots and take it to the house um but if your oven or where you want to dry the fish is in your house or close to where you are you can just as well leave it in the bowl like this and put salt inside the purpose of putting salt inside is to remove the slimy um, substance on the fish so that is the reason why we put salt so as you can see what we're doing here we put salt inside and you can see it also kills it faster you don't need to like want to use something to break their head or you know ham so you use salt you put it inside the bag you tie it as i said if you don't want to use a bag like this you get a basin or a rubber wherever whatever wherever you want to put it you put it there put salt inside and cover it and leave it for like 15 to 20 minutes by then the fish must have died and the slimy nature will the slimy substance will be out this is my oven at home i'm home already this is my oven and then we remove some of the rack so that is why it's like that so i have to clean it first so what i use to process my fresh catfish i use um curry mansala and i use non maggot cube those are the two ingredients i use remember i've put salt already and so this is the outcome of it after putting salt you can see it we we'll just turn it inside the basin these are the things we use to process catfish i do this based on demand i don't really say catfish but if a customer needs i have so many customers that i send catfish to like even in uk and other places you know far wide and near because it's really tasty it's nice it's neat so the major compliment i get from my catfish is that there's no sand in it i make sure there's no sand we got our fish so meaning we remove the stomach we remove the gills make it very clean and uh, marinate it with these two ingredients i just mentioned the curry mansala and the maggi so as you can see you can see the slimy nature is out so you can see it you can see it so this is what salt does to the fish it just um make it very easy for you so what you just need to do now is pour water inside this basin and wash your fish very easy just pour water inside and then uh, you start washing it one after the other um the process of washing it you're removing the slimy nature and by the time you wash like twice the fish is already clean very 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 clean so we use charcoal i use charcoal this charcoal now is bought for six thousand naira here in my area in portaco to bought for six thousand naira. this we like we can just use half of it we're not using all of it because it's quite much so what well, this is us putting water and um the next thing we do is to wash it all right so i did some part and uh, this is my boy that does this for me and i'll pay him um because i can't be doing all the job here so but i can do this actually i can do it very well i was one that haven't taught him so but in this video is one that did this and if i have most others order um is one that used to do it he has learned the job very well so this is how you wash just 
wash with water basically so you don't need to put more salt because if you have too much salt you can as well um, it can affect the taste of the fish also when you want to put salt in the live fish you have to be careful to mind them so you don't put too much salt you don't need to put excess so just put enough that will go around to the fish and make sure make sure they are dead and they remove the slimy substance on their body so and this is it guys <laughs> okay would you want to try it uh, i had catfish um dry catfish is also very profitable is a good venture i love dry catfish business um just that there's a lot of work in it okay so this next thing the next stage is to got it you open it up remove the um, stomach remove the gills remove whatever that is not needed in the fish so you just remove it you can see what it's doing you can see that okay and this is ready yes guys it's ready so we're going to do this like each and every one of them this is what we do for every one of them we got it and this is 20 kg and this is what we did for every one of them so after this what you need to do next is just to wrap it you know fold it by folding it you put the tail inside the mouth of the fish you bend it put the tail inside the mouth of the fish I'm sorry that I missed that part, but it's quite easy. You just bend your fish, put the tail inside the mouth of the fish. I'm also going to do a video on that maybe some other time. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's what you do. That's how you just roll your fish. And as you do that, you just um, roll them and put them on the rack. After doing that, before you light up your oven, we use kerosene to light up our charcoal we put the charcoal inside the compartment where you're supposed to put your charcoal so we put the charcoal there put kerosene light it up allow it to like um light up for some time this the reason we do this is because to avoid um kerosene from smelling on the fish if you put your rack and you pour kerosene and you just light up the charcoal like that it can the fish can actually smell of kerosene so the best thing is to um just finish processing your fish lay them on the rack keep them by the side not inside the oven then you can light up your charcoal with kerosene or whatever you want to use to light it up before you transfer your already prepared fish inside the oven and give or take give or take this took like five hours to dry up it took like five hours to dry up so but if the fishes are bigger you spend more time they, they spend more time to dry something that can dry for a whole day if they are big fish so um it takes more time to dry but this like took like five to six hours they are done already okay guys so this is it after gutting them this is what he's doing you wash again and this is why my catfish is very neat you wash over and over again you can see it's clean and freshly done so after washing the next thing you do is to put the, the curry masala i showed you you put the the um what's it called non cube uh, like this is 20 kg and i use um i use five non cube and this quantity of curry masala you just put it inside the bowl of water that you want to put the fish and we leave it there for some time the the reason we're leaving it is for the fish to marinate very well so this spice gets into the body of the fish and it comes out very nice yummy 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 <laughs> and so you can see what we're doing so we'll leave it for some time light up the oven put the ra um sorry light up the oven and light to like you know the charcoals to eat up and the next thing is you wrap your fish you fold them like this put them inside the oven it's just 20 kg so this one rack is for 20 kg and this is the outcome of it